what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is a follow-up video to the video I did on yesterday about Quincy Jones' interview in Vulture, where he recounted his time spent with Marlon Brando in his younger days, and he provided this colorful antidote. He was the most colorful, charming motherfucker you ever met. He'd fuck anything, anything. He'd fuck a mailbox. James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye. When asked if Brando had sex with those men, Quincy Jones replied, come on, man, he'd fuck anything. This big claim was backed up by Richard Pryor's own widow, Jennifer, who said it was the 70s. Drugs were still good, especially Quaaludes. If you did enough cocaine, you'd fuck a radiator and send it flowers in the morning. However, Richard Pryor's daughter, Rain, is saying that while her father was a progressive and sexually open man, he did not have sex with Brando. In one Facebook post from this morning, Rain Pry minimized Quincy Jones' comments by saying this, all you who taught at Fall News and preach about wanting blacks to be represented in a great light and then post to Q's interview are irrelevant and full of your own BS. Q was once a brilliant music producer who is losing his mind and decided to garner publicity for himself with a sensationalized interview. She also minimized the input of her father's former wife by saying this. Then on top of it all, my dad's so-called widow validated it because she needs to keep legitimizing herself and tarnishing our dad even after he's dead. She hated Q and daddy. It was in her second Facebook post in the afternoon that she specifically addressed the Brando story. Daddy did not have relations with Brando. There were no trips to his South Pacific oasis, no flowers or love notes between them. It was also in her second post that she pointed out her dad's broad range of sexual taste that didn't just happen to include Marlon Brando. My dad was very open with his life, so much so that the news of his relationship with a trans woman in the early 70s and 80s wasn't really newsworthy nor notable. As a child, I knew her, not as the trans person in our home, but the lady whom everyone accepted. Whew, man. God. Talk about tarnishing the legacy, the image. I mean, I guess, I mean, Richard Pryor will forever be the king, the king on top of the comedy throne. I, he gonna forever have that. You can't take those jokes away. You can't take it away at all. You can't take away the work that he put in. You can't take that away from him. But damn, Richard. Yeah. Man, now here's the deal for some of you guys out there who's saying, how do we know what happened? First of all, how, do, how does the daughter know? Nobody, no, I don't think people do. I know I don't. I don't talk to my kids about my sexual life. Who wants to hear their parents talk about sex? The, the sex that they have. You dig what I'm saying? So I doubt seriously if she would know personally who her dad actually slept with as far as the friends that he had. This whole revelation about this trans woman is not far-fetched because Richard Pryor did a special once. He was he took, he took part in a, uh, a roast, I remember, with him and Paul Mooney, and he was on there talking about having sex with Paul Mooney and other homosexual men, and he also talked about having sex with a transgender man. He was talking about, well, I guess woman, you know, it, it, 
whatever, a, a transgender. It was a, I think a dude used to be a woman. Yeah. He said, he was joking. He was like, yeah, uh, he said he, he was having, he had sex with this transgender person. And after it was over, he said, I would have married him, but he went off and had an operation. Now, being a comedian, sometimes you don't know when to take these dudes seriously. And now that all of this is coming out, I mean, Richard, he really, he really put it out there. And for the people that really know him, they say he was open like that with his friends. So everybody knew he was this type of dude, but man, it, it flew under the radar for the average person out there and, and, and most of his fans, I think, because I had no idea that he was homosexual or bisexual or none of that other sexual stuff. I had no idea. But, oh man, I, I guess I'm surprised, but I am not shocked at all because highly weird, man. It's something that's, in, it's something about that. It's, it's weird, man. It's weird. To find a person who ain't weird like that, who ain't freaky deaky like that, they're they going to pretty much be a unicorn, man. But who knows what the truth is? But I tell you this, what's done in the dark will come to light. In other words, there's nothing hidden that will not be disclosed and there's nothing that is concealed that will not be let out into the open at some point. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.